This instructional video is designed to show you how to determine the quantum numbers of the last electron in an element, given its identity. In order to do this, you'll need not only the identity of the element you're looking at, which is given here, but also the periodic chart of elements so that you can look and count things up. So, the first thing we need to do is determine an electron configuration. And for arsenic, we get our noble gas core as argon. And then we write out everything else. We have 4s2, 3d10, and 4e3. Once we have that, we can write out our occupancy diagram. 4s, 1, 2, our 3d, we're going to spin everything up, and then spin everything down, and then finally for the 4p, we want to make sure we label everything, 3. So now we know the identity of the one we're looking at, and we can read off the quantum numbers. N and L, our principal and secondary numbers, will come directly from the orbital type. That's 4P, so N equals 4. And because uh, it's P type, L equals 1. And then our magnetic and spin numbers come from here. We have a plus 1 for M sub L. And because it's spin up, that's plus 1 half. Next is cobalt. And we look and we find that the configuration gives us argon. And we have 4s2, 3d7. So uh, once we have our occupancy, uh, once we have our electron configuration, we draw the occupancy diagram. 4s, 1, 2, 3d, and we use the label minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. For our 3D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this becomes the one that we're interested in, and we can read off its quantum numbers. For our principal and secondary, because it's 3D, N equals 3. D means that L equals 2. For our magnetic and spin, we have minus one for magnetic, and spin down means minus one half. And so our last one is silver. And so we need the noble gas core to start off our electron configuration. And the rest of the configuration, 5s1, 4d10. Once we have that, we can draw our occupancy diagram, 5s1, and our 4d, labeling these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This last one is the one we're interested in and we can write out the quantum numbers as a result. Our principal and secondary come from the fact that it's 4D. That means that N equals 4 and L equals 2. Our magnetic and spin are determined from looking at where our electron is. So we have a plus 2 for the magnetic and for the spin minus 1 half. So by being able to use a periodic chart to help us in determining our electron configuration and writing that out, we can then determine the actual values necessary to get a proper description for the quantum.